Well, hello there, and welcome to another edition of All the Guzman Presents. Um, we are just across the street from the Pink Pearl restaurant here in East Vancouver on Hastings Street, and we're just about to go inside the Will Abelier Art Projects show by Glenn Lewis, Real Nature Mart to Die and Other Things. So let's get going, shall we? So I'm just going to pan through the entire exhibition and then we're just going to go and have a little bit of perhaps having a look at all of the pieces in the show. The show is mostly a lot of ceramic works, but they're also arranged in a very quite interesting tableau. From what I understand, there is this obsession with Cezanne and I did have a chance to talk with Glenn Lewis about it many many years ago. He's been talking about it for quite a while but primarily the entire show tends to sort of look at perhaps the idea of the still life, the natural mort, which is pretty much going through the history of up until about the Dutch painting around 17th century, especially during the um, time of discovery and a lot of exotic things are being brought over to into Europe and European goods vice versa because there's this really large thriving trading community, especially in let's say, I think it was in Naga, no, it's in Yokohama or Nagasaki in Japan around the 16th century and that became one of the um, primary ports for the Dutch. But anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to go through each and every one of these pieces and we'll have a look at them. Now Glenn Lewis is a very iconic figure here in Vancouver. He is one of the founders of the Western Front in 1973. That's celebrating 50 years right now. And um, at the time, he was also very much involved in the ceramic arts. He's one of the f few people who uh, studied under legendary ceramic artist Bernard Leach, who also uh, created the, uh, started the Leach pottery works in, I believe in St. Ives in Cornwall with his uh, mentor Hamada Shoji. And so there's a really deep connection. So why am I, why am I talking about ceramics? Because like we're in front of this painting with the neckties right now. And from what I was told, Glenn Lewis has an obsession with neckties. And whenever he goes to one of the um, thrift stores, like for example, Value Village, he would go, he would leave the Value Village with a handful of neckties. So that is what this piece is all about. A lot of the pieces are ceramic work, but something you have to know about Glenn Lewis is that he's an octogenarian. So he's... 86, 87 years old, I believe, so his fingers are not as limber. So he did employ a gallery assistant that helps him do the more intricate ceramic works. And they're not all ceramics as well, because some of them are actual real thrift store finds. Like, for example, I believe this silver oxidized knife is the real thing. It's not made of ceramic. But you can probably guess that a lot of them are actual tableaus. They're almost like these still life nature mort paintings becoming three-dimensional. And then you're probably going to wonder 
there's a photograph here. And from what he told me, it was actually photo, I think the photograph was taken in the 1970s and then he found it recently. So he, uh, he reproduced it for the show, which appropriately depicts, of course, another uh, still life, not too much, pretty much in keeping with the theme for the show. The centerpiece, uh, the dining room, is actually quite, quite delectable to sort of have a look because it's, um, it's almost like a place setting for eight people. Most of them are ceramic pieces. But some of them are actually bisque fires, some of them have glazes. This particular piece we're looking at is this, like, I guess it's a found object in a thrift store that kind of, um, it's like a kid's puzzle. And then we look at this, it's a really beautiful tableau, and when you look closely, the knife is actually made of ceramic. And I think also the little rubber bands are also made of ceramic. It's a really beautiful pattern placement underneath there too, which I don't, I think it's actually a pattern placement. And this one is also made of ceramic, even though it looks very, very real. But the netting is actually a real netting. There's a play of reality and surreality with a lot of the words because in the 70s and the 80s, he was also a member of the Fluxus movement here in Vancouver. And as such, there's always this sense of surre surrealist reality as well as sort of like just dealing with art as life. Now for this particular piece, the hat I believe is a real hat, it's not made of ceramic. And this, these fuzzy balls are actually fuzzy balls. Yep, they're fuzzy balls. Am I allowed to say that, fuzzy balls? Anyways, I mentioned it, there's nothing much I can do about it. And the snake here is actually a real snake that you can find in Chinatown, which is actually only a few kilometers away from here. The table, I was told, was actually custom made by a, by a Japanese woodworker who used to live in Vancouver, but is now uh, went back to Japan, I believe. So, here's another photograph. This photograph is on aluminum. And it actually has elements that are currently in the show right now. Like for example, if you look at the piece at the piece of bread, that's over there in the corner near the entrance. Glenn was actually kind of fascinated by this sort of whimsical, phallic sexual representation of fruits like the gourd and the eggplant and it was he, he kind of giggled when he was actually sort of pointing that out to me during the opening which actually happened only a few days ago there's another tableau here just gonna try and see if the I believe the skull is ceramic. Everything here is made of ceramic with the exception of the table. It's an actual table. It's actually made of, it's actually made of wood. And then he told me that the painting here, I've never known Glenn to paint. So he was very forthcoming in telling me that somebody painted this for him. You know, it was a commission piece for this particular show, for this particular tableau anyways. And over here is another photograph with a with, seems to be like a ceramic feast of um, 
of apples and cherries and oranges. And then if you look around here in the corner, here are the, uh, the corresponding props for that photograph. I don't know what it is, but whenever I see like piles of fruit stacked up, a certain, uh, a certain local Vancouver artist comes to mind whose name will not be named. Kathy Falk. But anyways, I'm sure the influences are because they're, they're, they're kind of like um, um, same generation, you know, give or take about a decade. So you can forgive Glenn for having been influenced by that person who will not be named. Kathy Falk. Anyways. So in keeping with the entire sort of like fluxes, confusing you with reality and surreality, here's another piece that's made of brass. I think it's some sort of like um, a paper clip or something like that in the form of um, a really big fly. It's probably another one of those thrift store finds that Glenn is so fond of going to. And one final piece that we're going to go to is this luscious little piece. All of it is on ceramic. It's quite beautiful how everything has been rendered. The mushroom, the apple. I think that's a parsnip. Anyways, we're just going to go and pan through the entire show. If you're in the Vancouver area, you can drop by Will Avalier Art Projects on East Hastings Street. I will have more information in the comments, but Will Avalier is at 1129 East Hastings Street. And from what I can tell, let me just have a look here. The show is by Glenn Lewis, Real Nature Mart to Die and some other things up until March 25th, 2023. Well, thank you for viewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, just click the thumbs up button. And if you would like to subscribe, that would help out um, with, the, uh, with the channel. And uh, without further ado, I'm going to say goodbye, and uh, I'm out of here. Thank you, and have a great day.